Hello, my name is Taylor Leach, and this is why I believe the healthcare field is for me. Health science in the medical field is something I've always been passionate about. I found myself in high school being extremely interested in my health science classes, which led me to doing further research in this field. I've always had a passion for helping people and problem solving, which is exactly what the healthcare and medical field allows you to do. The three careers that interest me most after talking to many professionals are ATPT and nursing. Moving on to athletic training. This is something that I can definitely see myself in in the future. I've always wanted to stay connected with my sport. When it comes to my job, I've always wanted to help people. I want to stay social and build relationships with people, making an impact on their lives. Um, if you want to get started off in athletic training, you have to acquire at least a bachelor's degree in some form of science, either exercise science, biology, kinesiology, or health science. There are many different routes you can take which allows for flexibility for you to find what you want to focus on. After you get your degree, you do have to pass a BOC exam. This is a board certification exam that you get in each state that allows you to practice AT in that state. When you're starting off, the pay is normally not the greatest. Um, you can make around 20 to 25,000 a year starting off, but you can easily work your way up to 60 to 65,000 a year. If you love what you do, the pay should really not impact you that much. You're getting to go in every day and help someone get back on the field and help someone get back to their sport and put a smile on their face and improve their life. I feel like that's way more important than what you are getting paid. Moving on to nursing, this is another field that interests me. Uh, it allows me to stay connected with my people skills, my problem solving skills, uh, having empathy for others. It's just an all-around feel-good type of job. It's definitely a more broad area, and there's a very high demand for nursing, especially now in today's society. Um, there are many different nurses from CNA to RN to neonatal nurses. Neonatal nurses are ones that deal with newborn babies and mothers, normally new mothers. They normally go in after the child has been birthed and they teach the mother how to swaddle the child, breastfeed, feed them, take care of them, pay attention to warning signs, just anything you can think of that a new mother would need to learn. A neonatal nurse is normally there for the mother to teach them those things. Becoming a nurse is definitely difficult. It does take a lot. Uh, you have to start off by getting an associate's degree in nursing. Uh, pass a state exam and then work your way up into a bachelor's degree into your emphasis that you want to do. You can make a great living off of becoming a nurse, which is why the demand is so high now and so many people are going into nursing because of the demand and the increase in pay. The lower end of nursing, any of the fields I listed, is normally around sixty to 65000 a year and you can easily work your way up to 125000 to 130000 a year. It's great pay. You are getting paid for what you do. Being a nurse does have its bad days though. You're not always going to have the best patients. You're going to get stressed. You're going to be busy, but as long as you can get through those obstacles in this career, you're going to have a great life. You're going to be helping so many people. You're going to be a hero in a sense when becoming a nurse. Another career uh, that I would like to talk about that I could see myself in is physical therapy. Physical therapists can go hand in hand with athletic trainers. They're both doing therapy on someone to get them back out there doing what they were doing before. It helps them get movement and be comfortable and be able to do what they could do before their injury or whatever had happened to them, which led them to having to be rehabilitated and get therapy. Physical therapists definitely go more in depth than athletic trainers. You have to do more schooling. Becoming a PT requires you to normally get a doctorate, which can be very stressful and will take a lot of time. You also have to pass a licensure exam, um, just like becoming an AT or a nurse. You have to be licensed in your state to practice physical therapy. Physical therapy school, after you get your degree is also very competitive. You normally have to apply very early on into your decision to go into physical therapy and it is very hard to get in. With the pay of physical therapy, it 
starts off very well. You can get anywhere from 68,000 to 120,000 a year, which is great for what you are doing. If you love problem solving and helping people, this is definitely a great field for you. It's different from AT because you are seeing all different kinds of people. You're seeing people that have been in car accidents. You're seeing people with medical problems. You're seeing elderly people. You're not just seeing athletes. You have a broader spectrum of the people you're treating, the people you're seeing, the people's lives that you are impacting. So if you're not so stressed about staying in the sports realm of things, this would be a great a great alternative. Overall, any career in healthcare is going to take a lot of patience and perseverance. Helping others is a beautiful thing, but can also become stressful at times. These are three great careers. All three that I talked about are all three that I will be personally looking into and hope that I excel in one one day. Thank you.